In early August, the day is dawning on Cape Hatteras off the coast of North Carolina. And this sanderman, which nested in the Arctic tundra and has migrated south, stands ready for a day of wave chasing. He's a fist-sized sandpiper that runs like a mechanical toy with his body sitting unmoving atop toothpick legs that whir like pinwheels in the wind. Charlie Chaplin on Fast Forward. He hot puts it out to see what food each departing wave has left for him and then turns tail from the next incoming. Doesn't like to get his belly wet. Oh, he'll drench his plumage when it's actual bath time, but otherwise, no. He's after crustaceans that burrow well down into the sand until the tide comes in, then move into the upper layers to feed on the plankton that the waves wash over them. The sanderling's drill only penetrates an inch, so if he wants, say, sand fleas, he has to find them when they're lurking near the surface, waiting for the waves. And that means playing tag with the surf all day long. And hammering like a woodpecker. I guess if you're going to subject your skull to thousands on thousands of tiny shocks a day, sand is at least easier on the brain than a tree trunk. And all that hammering is worth it when he snags the biggest prize, a hermit crab. All too often for his taste, though, other sanderlings intrude on his hunting ground. This is my patch of beach. Everybody else can just fly his fanny a couple hundred yards away. Cranky. A month from now, he'll be much more sociable with his own kind joining flocks that skitter in unison after the waves. In winter, sanderling flocks populate pretty much every sandy beach around the world. But he hasn't quite made the transition yet from breeding and therefore territorial to wintertime gregarious. Boy, has he not made the transition. He's trying to back down a larger sanderling, and this pair looks like Joe Pet. Whoa! Let's watch Joe Pesci and Arnold Schwarzenegger in slow-mo. Without even a minute of formal training, they're masters of Taekwondo. Here's round two, with Pesci taking the worst of it. Don't you love the flash of stripes in their wings? Now, the smaller bird was nothing if not game, but really? What for? In another month, they'll be chumming around in a flock together. And maybe despite his belligerent attitude, Pesci does get that, because he finally shows some sense and backs down. He knows how to call a truce, that one does. Even his chin is touching the sand. <laughs> 